and welcome to Jason's Acoustic Workshop. Today I want to answer some questions that I got in the comments section on the video where I show you how to daisy chain your speakers. But before I start, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed so far. It is greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet, please do so. We have a lot of great material coming. Alright, now the question is, can I hook up a power device to the Behringer EuroPower PMP2000D? The answer, simply, is no. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, before we begin, I'm going to tell you uh, about two different types of speakers. You have passive speakers. All right? Those are ones like what I use right here. It is just a regular speaker. It has no built-in amp. Okay? That is a passive speaker. Now, you have active speakers. Now, active speakers are speakers like this one right here that have a built-in amp. Okay, so you don't need any type of power device to power it. All you need basically is a plug-in. Plug it in, hook in the, the back, and off you go. Now, the reason why you cannot hook up any type of powered device to the Behringer EuroPower PMP2000D is because there is no auxiliary out. Okay? Now, here is the Behringer EuroPower PMP2000D. Okay? Now, if you look on the bottom right, there's a picture right here, you'll see that there is a foot switch in, there's an auxiliary in, and there's some type of uh, plug-in for one of their microphones that you can purchase. Alright? Why they put that on there, I don't know. But as you can see, there is no auxiliary out. Now, the difference between the auxiliary out and the line outs that you have in the back, as you can see right here, is the auxiliary out just sends out the signal. Okay? Now, the, the, the line outs in the back send out a signal plus they send out electrical energy okay that electrical energy is what powers the speaker the passive speaker now if you already have a built-in amplifier in your speaker and you send the signal plus more energy through that line you're going to do some serious damage to that speaker or you're going to do some damage to your mixer now there are two different uh, things that I can suggest that you do. If you want to go with the powered mixer uh, gig, then um, if you're going to get, if you're interested in getting a Behringer, you can get this one right here. This is the Behringer EuroPower. I believe it's PMP 1680S. I believe I could be wrong on that. But this here is basically it's a I think it's a 1600 watt and as you can see on the bottom it has auxiliary outs the main is left and right and then you have one for monitor okay those you hook up into your powered amps because all you're getting is a signal okay you hit the auxiliary you got your auxiliaries right here left right Okay, those are the auxiliary, out, you hook up the line, of course, to your powered speakers. Okay, like I said, if you hook up the line outs in the back to a powered speaker, you're going to do some serious damage. So it would be in your best interest not to do that. Now, if you don't want to go the mixer amp route, that's fine. They also have stuff like this that you can buy. And this one here, it's just a mixing board. And if you look, let me get it close right here. I mean, whichever brand you want to buy. And as you can see, right here, it says main out. Let me get it closer here. It says main out. That's where you put your uh, wires in to go to your powered speakers. All right? Because it's just sending a signal. There's no uh, electrical energy going through those lines. 
just a signal, a weak signal. All right, so that's two ways that you can do it. You can get a mixer amp that has auxiliary outs, or you can get just a regular, you know, whatever brand you want, mixer that has auxiliary outs, okay? Because there's no amplifiers in those just plain mixing boards, okay? You have to supply the power, and that's when the powered speakers come in handy. And I've seen that. I've seen people use the powered speakers and just use a small little little uh, mixing board like this. If it's just a uh, one guy or two guys, this, this one here has six channels and uh, they just use those and it's it works great. Um, me, uh, me personally I use the passive speakers, the ones without the amps, because I use the Behringer. Now, like I said, the answer is no on the Behringer. I'm sorry if you already have a Behringer, you're going to you're gonna have to, you know, get yourself some passive speakers or get another amp. But like I said, they have the 1600, uh, 1680S that you can buy that has auxiliary in. Okay? Uh, so I hope that's cleared up a lot of the uh, questions there on that. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will try to answer them. If I can't answer them, I will find a way to answer them. I will ask people and get them answered for you. All right? So, for Jason's Acoustic Workshop, I'm Jason. Thank you for listening. Make sure you practice an hour a day, and we'll see you in the next lesson.